Hello, I'm Dr. Hassan Tohid, and today I'm here with a sensational topic, how to write a letter to the editor. Before we talk about this, we need to know what is the letter that is written to an editor of a journal or a magazine or a newspaper. Yes, I do know that the letters to the editors are written for the magazine editor or a newspaper editor, but here we are mainly talking about the academic journals. How do you write a letter to those editors? Now, when you watch this video and you complete this video, you can apply these principles if you're writing a letter to a magazine editor or a newspaper editor. So it will work for everyone. And if you are writing a letter for a scientific journals editor, then of course this video will help you tremendously. So let's begin. So the first thing first is what is the letter to the editor? The letter to the editor is actually a letter that is written for an editor. Actually, it is addressing to an editor, but actually for the readers. It's actually bringing the attention of the editor, but we are actually providing value for readers. So you need to know exactly who your audience is or who your readers are, who your target market is in business terminology, as we say. So you need to know exactly who will be my readers and you need to know that you are writing it for the editor of a journal. Now, why do you do it? To bring his attention and the attention of the readers towards an issue. It could be a social issue. It could be a cultural issue. It could be a health related issue. It could be a relationship issue. It could be anything. And mostly it is related to the scope of the journal that you're writing. So yes, it could be any issue. Or another most common, commonly written letters to the editor are actually the, the letters that are addressed towards a previously published paper. So actually there are two types of letters to the editor. One letter is where you bring the attention of the editor to a very important issue like a social issue, cultural issue, health issue, relationship issue, any kind of issue. If it's a political journal, a political issue, any kind of issue, even a religious issue. But the most commonly written letters to the editor in academic journals are actually written to bring the attention of the editor towards a paper that was published before in the same journal. So this is very important. Somebody wrote an article, let's say, and you read that article and you found something really interesting in that article and now you want to praise the efforts of these uh, those authors or you disagree with some points that they mentioned and you want to disagree with respect in a respectful manner and you want to bring the attention of the editor, of the readers and actually the authors, the, uh, the authors who wrote that previous paper. So I'll repeat again, there are two kinds of letters to the editor. One is bringing, bringing attention of the editor and the readers to an issue, social issue, cultural issue, religious issue, educational issue, any issue. The second ones are addressing a previously published paper. That somebody published a paper, any clinical trial, obs observational study, review article, you read that article and now you want to mention some things that you are really attracted to or something you want to praise or you want to disagree with or you want to criticize in a respectful manner so that the main author they can read that and they can respond to you so this is what a letter to the editor is and that's why it is written now where it is published in the letters and responses section of a journal that's where the letter will be published and once your letter is published the authors that you are responding to actually let's say you are you saw a clinical trial and this clinic this clinical trial was about a medication and parkinson's patients for example and you disagreed with something so you brought the attention of the editor that probably the authors have made a mistake here or probably the authors have done an amazing job and this article is an is an outstanding job and they need to further explore something else as well you bring want to bring their attention as well so this will be published in that region in on that area of the journal the letters and responses and now you wait for the response to be published usually the edit the authors of that article they respond and it is published in the next volume 
of the journal as well. So this is how the uh, this is what the letter of a uh, letter to the editor is, and this is how you write and uh, publish it. This is why you write and publish it. And now, when do you write it? Whenever you see an article that was published, so keep reading new articles, any published articles lately, keep reading them, and you will get ideas that if you want to praise certain paper or if you want to disagree with certain paper. I won't say criticize, it's a negative word for many of uh, many of you. So I'm using a word that you can disagree respectfully. Respectfully, this is very important, okay? So now, the next thing is that you submit it and you publish it and you wait for the response. So this is how it is done. So now we know what is the letter to the editor or what is a letter to the editor. We, we now know where is it, where it is, where, where it is published and we also know why it is written and why it is published, we know that. We know that we are addressing to the editor and the readers. And if we are actually writing it because we saw an article, then we know that uh, we are waiting for the response of the authors. And there are two types, we know that now. Now, the next thing is the biggest challenge, how do we do it? How do we write it? So it's, it's, it's very simple, it's quite easy. The first thing first is that you need to have an idea. Now you have an idea. So either of these types, you choose any of those types. You want to bring attention to an issue or you want to address any previously published papers. So you have those now. So you got an idea, okay, I want to bring attention of the editor uh, to a previously published paper. So you chose an article. Now you select a topic. You say, okay, I will focus on this part of this uh, letter. Now you plan your letter. Now, how do you plan? You need to look at other published letters by different journals and mainly this journal that you're focusing on. Because ideally you see a paper published in a journal and you submit the letter to the same journal. Let me repeat again. You saw an article before published by somebody now in, in a journal, for example, JAMA. Now you want to write a letter to the same journal, to the same editor of the same journal. So you write this letter now, but before that, look at other people's letters before, how they are written, how big they are, what is the format, how you how people um, write the title, what are the ways people have been doing it, how big it is. So those kind of things, you need to get an idea from other published letters that how letters are written, that's number one. So you get an idea, you have the uh, title, now you plan, your plan would be that, okay, I'll focus on just two paragraphs and in the first paragraph I'll plan this and in the second paragraph I'll plan this. Or maybe three paragraphs, that's it. Don't go more than that. Usually it's one page long because the length, usually the length is 600 words, up to 600 words. So make sure your letter is up to 600 words. And in your letter, you should have around five authors, five or less authors. Don't go more than that. And the tables and figures, maximum two tables and maximum two figures. That's it. Don't go more than that. Now, also, do you need references? Of course, you do need references. Don't go more than five references, unless it's absolutely necessary. But five references are enough. Now, you have your plan. You have your idea. Now, you start writing. Now you, st you begin like this. I saw an article simply straightforward or, or we had a chance to read a wonderful article written by XYZ author published in this and this volume of your journal by author this and this XYZ. And we would like to appreciate the efforts of these authors XYZ or we like the article, but there is one point that we disagree with and we would like to bring the attention of the authors to the point that they may have ignored unintentionally. So remember, even if you are disagreeing, you're disagreeing with respect. This is very important because those people, they are respectful people who are doing scientific job. Everyone is respectable, first of all. Don't take me wrong. Everyone is respectable, respectable so you should give respect to everyone. If you develop this habit of giving respect to everyone, you will be able to give respect to the editors, uh, the authors as well. So now the next thing is, the next thing is once you write that, 
uh, once you start like this, then you bring the attention of the editor to the issue, then you start writing, and then you write the point. But once you write the point, you give solutions. If you have pointed an error, or if you want to bring the attention of the authors to certain points, you should bring the ideas and solutions without giving solutions. If you are just bringing attention to a problem, it is not a wise thing to do. And then you, once you complete it, then your letter is ready. Now, let's say you are writing a second kind of letter that is bringing attention to a social issue, bringing the attention of an editor to a social issue. Now, you do the same thing. You bring an issue. You start with a problem. Now, you have started with a problem, but without a solution, you are just leaving it blank. So I'm telling you some wonderful secrets to publish your letter to the editor to a scientific journal that bring the solutions bring the solutions and bring some benefits at least three benefits of your solution why this problem is important and what are the benefits that you are that your solution will provide if you can write benefits then the chances of your letter to be accepted will be really really high most people, they forget about the benefits. They just write about the problem, and then they think that the letter will be published. Some people, they write the problem, they write the solution, and it's a very good thing to do. But I'm t telling you to go an extra mile, write, write a problem, write a solution that you gave, you propose at least maybe two solutions, maybe three solutions, but also gave three benefits, at least three benefits of the solution that you are providing. And... This, is, this will give the incentive to the editor to publish your paper as well because you are bringing the attention to the benefits. So this is how you do it. Now, once you have written either of these letters, let's say commenting on a previously published paper or bringing the attention of the editor to an important point, important issue. So either of those, once you have done it, now you rewrite it, rewrite it, rewrite it. Yes, to make sure the editing is correct. You check the spellings, you check the grammar, maybe check through a software. There are so many famous softwares that, uh, that you can use to check grammar and spellings. And you rewrite it, rewrite it, write it at least five, six, seven, maybe 10 times. The more, the better, of course. So 10 times, follow my formula, write letter, write the same letter 10 times and your 10th document will be the best one. Now you still check for grammars and grammar errors and editing errors. And if possible, if you can afford it, send it to a professional proofreader and editor and he or she will do it and make your paper, your letter really, really wonderful. Once you do that, then submit to a journal. If it was an issue, that you are bringing attention to an issue, you can submit to any journal. But if you are addressing a previously published paper, then submit to the same journal that this article was published in. This is the best way to address. Now, once you submit it, be willing to face the rejection. It is always possible that the journals reject your paper or your letter. So don't get disappointed. Improve it, bring more benefits, and then resubmit it get suggestions from seniors or your friends and make it better and resubmit it ask the journal can you resubmit it once you resubmit to the same journal they will publish it probably if not then you have other journals too you can submit to other journals as well and see what do they say about it so this is how you write and publish your letter to the editor thank you <laughs>